All right. Here we go. Quarterfinals. The other three quarterfinals are going on off stream. See how this one goes. <clears throat> nice shields by. He, he's slowly advancing, but gets scooped. Bad guess on the up smash. Okay, Korean scheming a little bit. Waits to see how Andy will land. Dash tap, okay. Ooh. A little bit of a rogue up B there from Andy. It's a back air. Very light punish by Andy. Korean showing his hand awfully early with that up B. We'll see uh, if we'll see if AD falls for it again. Good up air by Korean, but ZSS barely able to survive. Not quite enough rage on Fox yet. Korean doing a good job of uh, not getting hit. Waiting for Zero Suit to come to him. Oh, but he does end up getting a little trapped as Andy sneaks a grab in. He barely misses the back air. That would have been a huge hit that landed. Up air punish. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Come on. We got taunts. Oh, jabs. Get off. Scoops. Uh, looking kind of bad for Andy. He does get a really strong hit. He really would have liked that to kill and just end the stock. Because he does not want Korean to get all this guaranteed gravy damage uh, off of Fox stuff. Shooting him right now. Not even interacting with him. Oh, but uh, just do it. Just do it up B. Shia LaBeouf in the house. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Okay, minor little taser right there. Korean missing the follow-up. So really giving Andy a lot of respect in the air. Catches him that time with the up air. Very nicely done. Oh, very interesting option on the up B. Following him, Andy not ready for it. And uh, he does not tether the ledge. And uh, Brigade and Andy looking a little confused by that. We weren't expecting that. Okay, so Andy running it back to Battlefield. This is one of his favorite stages. But I'm pretty sure Korean's fine with keeping it neutral. Because it'll just give him uh, the ability to watch, rinse, and repeat from last game. Ooh. Soft part of the down air uh, leads to follow ups. Nice back air by Fox. Goes for the twisting of B, but it does miss. Okay, and he goes for the safe dash attack option. Doesn't want to risk it with the grab having start up. And as soon as I say that, he whips a big grab. And uh, Korean choosing not to up smash him. Went for something else. Ooh, that was a very ambitious forward smash by Korean. I guess he was confident that Andy would move, but he. 
instead he gets uh, up air chained up to the air and uh, down he goes. The sweet spot up air is very strong. Andy just uh, could tend to block these, I guess. I mean, he could just jump on the platform. That'll probably, that'll probably solve a lot of problems. Because his shield was getting kind of low. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if he heard me. <laughs> but I mean, that's kind of common sense, so there you go. But I like the patience by Korean, you know, not running headlong into trouble. Still uh, very much doable. Nice side B by Korean. Oh, and you cannot escape. I come. Oh, you had to know that that was coming after the talk. Nice. Okay, Taser doesn't quite catch Charles. That was unfortunate right there. Andy had the read, but did not position properly. Whoa. What is going on? It's craziness. Good punish by Andy. She'll drop jab. Oh, Taser tags him. Three combo. Nice. Very nice punish off the reflect. Andy really running away with this game. Oh, if he had blocked that, could have been a OB. Korean not ready to roll over just yet. Not sure if he tried to jump cancel that for the extra horizontal. Good patience by Korean. Andy's still clinging onto this stock though. Oh, and, and Andy again, not up, not up being out of shield. <clears throat> Korean able to close the stock out. Still feeling confident. Ooh, those little pivots, pretty cute. But he is in the deep red, and meow. Why is Fox meowing? Meow. Yeah, I see that we had another uh, another frame drop, unfortunately. But it looks like it's okay now. Ooh, very nice B reverse blaster on landing by Andy. Are you taking it to Smashville? Very interesting. <clears throat> I wonder if Andy banned the uh, town and city. Good punish. Ooh, double up airs. Triple. Good recovery by Korean, avoiding the zapper. Andy needs to be very careful about his positioning. Otherwise, Fox could easily steal the kill first. Nice run up shield by Korean. There's the spot dodge up tilt. Ooh, what are you doing? Stop. Oh, oh, what? No punish. That can't happen. That cannot happen. Still gets the, the double jump read though, does he Andy? And he is looking uh, very primed to take this. Korean still defiant with his taunts. Good grab. That Charles whipping three big moves in front of Korean, uh, in front of Andy, but Andy not doing anything. Continuing to sit in his shield.
There's the punish. Only 8%. This is definitely not over. And Andy's been controlling the, the match since game two, but... To me, it could be that Korean was actually the one in control all along, despite uh, the score. Nice hit confirmed by Korean, gets uh, max damage. Good damage by A and D. Ooh, twisting Fox. I thought he was gonna commit right there. Oh, Andy with a very dangerous Zare that could have cost him dearly. Bad positioning by Andy again. Overchasing on the up air. Doesn't keep Fox above him. Andy starting to tilt a little bit, getting a little bit too thirsty for the kill. Not, not taking his positioning into account and swinging with very laggy moves. Oh, very high Nair on shield. Could have been up B. Korean almost gets the frame trap. I think Korean's going to do it pretty soon. He's going to pull the trigger and up smash pretty soon. Oh, if he had just waited on the air dodge, he would have had that. Oh, and that's it. Oh, A&D frustrated. Understandably.